大家好，我叫荣文克。今天我想在这里和大家分享我在 EBC 学习中文的经历，以及学中文对我的影响。也想和大家介绍 EBC 最特别的中文项目。Hi, my name is Ryan Walker, and I'm a recent graduate from the Economics and Asian Studies Department here at UBC. Let's see what other Chinese learners are doing. The Chinese language program at UBC is one of the largest Chinese language programs offered in North America. There are over 1,500 students taking Chinese language or literature courses every term. To meet the special needs of interested students from diverse backgrounds, we currently offer two separate tracks on all level courses: heritage and non-heritage. The heritage language courses are designed for students who have a strong background in understanding spoken Chinese, but who want to improve their language in reading and writing. Whereas the non-heritage language courses are designed for foreign language learners who had no prior exposure to the Chinese language and need to develop all four skills of listening, speaking, reading, and writing. On the other hand, the upper-level literature and classical Chinese courses are offered to advanced language learners who wish to bring their knowledge of the Chinese language to a superior level. As of this term, the Chinese language program offers over 30 courses for UBC students to be enrolled in. I wanted to learn another language, and I find Chinese beautiful, and I hear it all around me. Why do you want to learn Chinese? Um, because I want to improve my writing skills. My writing skills and reading skills. I think Chinese is very difficult, but. 学中文，很好玩，很用。来中文项目嘛，主要就是因为又有活动，然后又可以交一些朋友，然后又可以交就是非华裔班或者华裔班的同学一些写作和口语吧，然后觉得挺有意义的。So originally coming from southwestern Ontario,、uh, the only other language I ever spoke was French. Um, so when I started and came out to Vancouver to come to UBC in my first year, I was really looking to kind of deviate away from that and maybe start learning a new, new language. So、uh, in the in between,、uh, I learned not only how to communicate a little bit, but I learned a lot more than that, and I met a lot of really interesting friends and people who I consider my lifelong friends at this point that I would have never met if I had never started really learning Mandarin. But it's a language that kind of never ends. But at the same time,、uh, once you do get the, the basics and the fundamentals down, it's just a continuous learning process, and yeah, don't get discouraged. So the Asian Studies Department and my Chinese professors did a really good job at orchestrating our programs inside the class. But what was really unique was that you know they always encouraged us to go partake in things outside the classroom.、Um, the Chinese Language Department has a lot of free tutoring opportunities.、Um, but at the same time, we have cool stuff like Chinese fun nights.、Uh, there's the Chinese Bridge Competition, which I highly encourage anybody, even at the very beginner level, to take part in.、Um, it's a really cool way to meet other students from not only UBC but from different schools in Vancouver. Learning Chinese.、Um, back in March, I had the、uh, the honor of being able to、uh, win our, the provincial competition for the advanced speakers of the Mandarin speaking competition,、um, and they actually sent us、um, to represent. Well, they sent me to represent、uh, Canada in the international competition in Beijing. So the Chinese bridge was a pretty cool opportunity because it showcased some of the the, spite, or the smartest, brightest, and most composed public speakers from all the way around the world. And what was really unique was that these were all students that were learning Mandarin from very different countries. So when I got there,、um, it was really neat to see as well that a lot of students didn't have English as their first language. So the only way you could communicate with some of the students from uh, uh, Africa or from Russia were, was through Mandarin, and that was the only way you could kind of talk with them. I think it was a great opportunity not only to showcase my skills. But to make lifelong friends from around, around the world as well. I think one of the things I can speak to right now is I currently just got my dream job job offer at a big four accounting firm, and one of the things that they really admired was how strong my 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 written and my、uh, my being able to read Chinese was.、Um, I think making friends and joining programs outside the classrooms where you do a lot of your learning. But the cool thing is like. It comes as easy as you know changing your phone settings to Mandarin and, or Chinese and really having to work through it because sometimes you might not know everything, but you learn along the way.、Um, the other thing too is go make friends. I think one of my favorite things is I met one of my best friends through a、uh, scholarship exchange over in China last summer, and the only reason why we would have ever met、um, was because we were learning Chinese together. And now he's going to be one of the guys that I think would probably be one of the groomsmen of my wedding someday. But yeah. 这就是我在 UBC 学习中文的经历，所以你们还在等什么呢？快来加入我们一起学中文吧！
玩。当天有什么好玩的？当天啊，太多好玩的。我记得有一次改作业的时候，他们把最后一道题目全班全班全班都写了，我的作业被狗吃了，吃了，吃了。